Pisces, how are you? It is me, Warren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. If you're new here, welcome in. Honey's on the table. How are you doing? You're back. You're back to the beehive. Thank you for coming back and spending some time with me. Pisces, Pisces, listen, I just had like a little cry before I started your reading, which is interesting. Um, uh, you know, I, I make this joke to myself and to some of my friends um, that this is like a Virgo stan channel because like the Virgos like come through like crazy on the reads. And I always make the joke that um, the, the Pisces and the, the Aries videos like never really like do as well, which I always think is funny because one, I think my Pisces reads are probably some of the best reads that I do. Um, also like I, I am a Pisces and my Venus is an Aries too. So it's funny to me that, you know, I would almost assume jokes on you when you assume, um, that like my Pisces and my Aries reads would be more popular, but then I was kind of like sitting and I was reflecting on it. And it's probably like for me, a message in how I don't sort of like show up for myself in my own light sometimes right being my sun sign and how sometimes I don't always show up for myself in love my Venus sign in Aries right um and you know I was just funny I was just sitting here and I was just thinking about some stuff and I got like real emotional and I was kind of you know trying to sit in a place of like praise and worship and really just like trusting that like no matter what happens that like God has a plan for me. God has big, big plans for me. I'm like, I'm hearing that country song, right? It's like, I got some big, big plans. That one. <laughs> and um, I, I, you guys must be sitting in that energy too. Cause I am Pisces and you are Pisces and we are one. We are one. Um, I'm almost there. I'm seeing like a, like a pe like a honeycomb, like a piece of a honeycomb, like floating on top of the water. That's interesting. It's like letting your sweetness rise to the top. Pisces letting your sweetness rise to the top right now um so before we do anything else because your energy it and my energy it feels really delicate it feels really delicate right now like um you're trying to let your sweetness rise to the top but it's also like you're in a place where you feel like you really need like some sweetness like flowed back to you as well like you're maintaining your sweetness your grace your softness um, up against a lot of like harsh exteriors um, and I'm very much in that energy as well but also really kind of just like trusting and having faith that like this sweetness is going to return to you as well um, sort of just like waiting for that to happen um, so I want before we pull any tarot cards I actually don't even know what deck I'm gonna use for you I have so many decks laid out here we're gonna we're gonna go with the flow we're gonna let the sweetness flow. I wanna pull a bird card. I wanna pull a bird card. We haven't been using this as much, um, but I, I think we should, because we need a little gentle sweetness today. But let's pray before anything else, yes? Father God, thank you for being here with me and my Pisces people. I ask that you bless these messages. I ask that you cover these cards. You give us messages and guidance for our highest of love light alignment assignment in jesus mighty name we praise you and we thank you in jesus name amen amen pisces amen so oh my nose is going already my nose is going so let's get a bird card shall we we shall we shall and so we will so let's see let's see I love these bird cards. Maybe we'll just do the whole reading with the bird card deck. I don't know. I don't know, Pisces. I have no idea what's going to come out for you right now. I keep hearing Leo. I keep hearing Leo. Maybe connecting with your faith. King Lion of Judah, perhaps. Let's put some uh, frankincense in the air diffuser. So you could be trying to make offerings praying worshiping trying to really stay on top of your um you know on top of your prayer closet be something that you're doing as well i'm hearing that song don't worry 
about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Until you don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. <laughs> it's a chickadee. Oh, the chickadee is so cute. Chickadee. The time is right to release old patterns and energy. You are ready to embrace change. You are ready to embrace change, Pisces. So let's read this. Let's read what our little chickadee has to say to us today. You and me. Chickadee is a small but mighty bird that often serves as the community messenger. Their unique song is considered to bring news to others in their habitat. They have unusual brain patterning that allows them to shed old information each fall to create space for new information and to keep adapting to the changing environment. The chickadee messenger, you hear the birds. The chickadee messenger signals communication from others and encourages us to look at our own manner of expression. Is what we are saying truthful, supportive, and kind? The chickadee urges us to review our patterns and see what needs to be released. The chickadee reminds us of the value of reviewing our lives to assess where there is room for letting go so that we may invite in the new. Clearly examine your communications to others as well as yourself to notice what patterns or habits may be weighing you down. Are you stuck in a rut? Are your dreams delivering messages? Chickadee chirps to remind you to pay attention to words, actions, and signs of changes to come. Communication, activity, and adaptability are energies of this bird. Their season is spring and fall. Their element is earth and air. Their color is black, white, gray, and brown. And the affirmation is, I choose to surrender all thoughts, words, and patterns that hold me back. The colors of this bird are very interesting to me. Black, white. So that's the duality of life, right? Feeling a little in between extremes, Pisces, are we? And then there's gray, right? Gray is the integration of polarities, right? Trying to find that sweet spot. Yes, um, you know, the air is one extreme. And then we are in Libra season. Hello, happy birthday, Libras. And then, you know, the water is another extreme, right? There, there isn't air underwater. You can't breathe underwater. Um, but also, in order for the water to meet the air, it has to evaporate. It has to ascend. Then it can condensate. And then it can come down in smaller particles. You know, but that gray is like when the storm clouds kind of... Oh, this is going in an interesting direction. That gray is when the storm clouds sort of come in. It's that condensation that happens when those two polarities... Oh, my ear's going. When those two polarities kind of come in and they start to mix. And how does that happen? That happens when we bring in other elements, right? Normally, like fire, heat energy. That's when the evaporation starts to happen. And then, you know, the next color is, is brown. Brown is sort of like earth energy, right? When we ground ourselves, when grounding is part of density, right? To root yourself to something. So as heat comes in, maybe that's that Leo energy I was feeling before, when that heat sort of comes in and starts to evaporate, to kind of shake up your emotional body, Pisces, right? You're allowed to kind of ascend, sort of that, that shifting that happens when we sift, when we're able to, you know, like uh, at the beach, kind of get the, the, the good shells that we want from the sand that separates. And as we ascend, we then have to ground ourselves. We have to root ourselves. It's that density, that brown energy, right? And when that happens, then a new form of alchemy comes in because then that condensation transforms and then we get to come down in smaller bits and kind of return back to the ocean, return back to the lake, return back to the river, back to sort of your natural state. It's this um, feeling, I suppose, that as you ascend, it's like different parts of yourself, Pisces, are getting shaken up, redistributed in, in a new alignment. 
and then they have to come back together they, in that gray energy, which is always the, the in-between can always feel very gray, right? You don't know if you're coming or you're going. It's because you're doing both. You're doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing in you, Pisces. And then as you integrate back together, then you're almost like allowed to return back to the center to integrate back into your whole. It's a really interesting energy. I guess we'll pull another bird card. I guess we're going to do your whole reading with a bird, with bird cards. I've never done this before, but again, a new thing. We're doing a new thing, Pisces. God is doing a new thing in you, in me. Grouse. <laughs> Grouse. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. Your highest guidance. I don't think I've ever pulled this card out of this deck before. I haven't. Grouse. It's on page 40. Fours are numbers of stability and support. Restabilizing as we ascend and align. Grouse is a large game bird. I'm, I'm hearing that you guys feel like people are playing games with you or you feel like maybe God is like playing a game with you or it's just part of like, um, sometimes I get that Chica song when I'm going through like some kind of warfare battle, push through whatever it may be, industry games. Um, which is always like my angels, my guides telling me like, and sort of just comes with the territory sometimes of being on a spiritual walk is that with every new level, there's new devil, right? There's always like some kind of pushback. There's always some kind of interference trying to cut you down, make you feel like you don't deserve the blessings that God wants to bestow upon you. When in reality, it's also like a negative self-talk, like this, um, this thing in the back of your head that someone said to you when you were little and it was like allowed to root and sprout and grow this sort of thing um okay, okay i guess we're gonna go there this is a, this is a weird ass pisces read um when i was little i had this particular family member um who always used to say to me like you're so lazy you're so lazy and i i was thinking about the other day and it kind of sprouted this little thing in the back of my head that kind of grew that even now as an adult um, you know, and I have some of you guys coming on the channel and you're always like, you work so hard. You're running yourself into the ground. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm fine. Um, and I realize they do that a lot of times. I have a Capricorn North node, so, hmm. but also because there's a thing in the back of my head from when I was little, like, don't be lazy. Don't be a leech. Don't be a moocher. Don't be lazy. So I'm always working and working and working. And anytime I take a break, even if I'm enjoying it, there's a part of me that feels guilty about it. And I'm like, I should be doing something. I should be working harder. There's more I could be doing. So that also feel like, Pisces, because you are the last sign in the Zodiac, you pull in everyone else's sign. Um, and then it makes you feel like you have to do everything for everyone all of the time as well, which could have, which could be part of this releasing old patterns feeling like you have to fight other people's battles for them um, and then not have enough strength or um, security or, or rooting or grounding to kind of hold yourself. I almost see like a like trees in a forest and there are some trees that are like coming down, they're rotted out, like whatever it may be. It's that hero complex, right? And then I see like a strong Pisces tree and your roots trying to extend so far out that they almost reach the like the bad trees or the old trees or the rotted trees almost reach their roots and try and provide them nutrients sustenance water like from the bottom up to try and sustain them but as you do that you're not getting enough of what you need right it's like what I was saying in the very beginning about how it's oftentimes um, me not showing up for myself in my own light making sure I get enough light right Pisces sun or not showing up enough for me with Venus being in Aries in love, giving myself enough of that self-love, always pouring it into others, but forgetting sometimes that like I need it too, right? It's like what I was saying. It's like you guys really want this sweetness to flow back to you. It's that honeycomb on top of the water sort of thing. And the honeycomb, it like looks like it's it's glittering, like it's glistening, right? It's like, it's sweet. It's very interesting. I'll continue. I'll continue. Grouse is a large bird that is closely linked to sacred dance and higher mind states. This feather messenger is a powerful symbol of the sacred spiral and the path inward. The, Sufi, the Sufis use this form of whirling movement as a way to connect to higher levels of consciousness and higher guidance. 
sacred dance has been a part of every society throughout the world. The dances very often represent the union of the divine masculine and feminine. It's funny because I've talked in some of my readings before about um, how I used to do dance. Oh, look at that bird. I can't see what, I can't see what kind it is though. About how I used to do dance and cheerleading and all of that stuff. And a lot of you guys have commented back and been like, I did dance and I did this and I did that too, right? So it is interesting that it's coming through. Perhaps, um, okay, okay. So there's an ability to move and also stand still at the same time, right? Because I feel like there's this element of trying not to become over emotional in your situations, Pisces. So like I said, you're trying to condense density you're trying to ground yourself you're trying to root yourself but when you do that your energy gets really stuck or stagnant which might be why I cried a little bit before I started your reading because um that is like it's a release it's a movement right it's like emotional movement I'm almost saying it's like just because like a tree is root, it's back to this tree thing it's like a tree is rooted right tree of life it's solid. It doesn't move. It's not running off anywhere, right? It's solid. It's rooted. Its roots go down beneath. There's a lot happening under the surface that people don't know about. Very Piscean. But at the same time, its, it's leaves, they dance. They sway. They move. So it's like the tree doesn't move. The tree is still solid, rooted, grounded. But the, like the extension of the tree still has movement. It still dances. It still sways with the wind, which represents God. So that is something very interesting that you can ground and root yourself right now, Pisces. But at the same time, you can move. You have more movement available to you than you feel like you do. Um, there is a sense of like energetic stagnation, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like you have to be working harder, or growing faster, do any of that. It's almost like literally it's like that go with the flow that we were saying. Like if the wind moves you here, you go there. Just like, like to just dance, like to put on music or like have a drink, just like dance or like be silly, right? Because water signs, it's so easy to get like sucked in the depths, you know? But it's like, you almost have to let that heat come in. It's like, when, when you start to evaporate a little bit and it's like those particles, they don't just shoot up right to the sky and that's it. It's like they dance. They dance on their way up, like the leaves that we were just talking about. It's really fascinating. And then when it condenses, it's almost like when the seasons change and then like the leaves fall from the trees and then the rain kind of starts to trickle down. You know, it's like, it's that release. It's that rejuvenation. It's that cleansing energy, getting ready for that new, that new season, that new cycle. Never done a read like this. This feather can signify our own need to integrate and balance masculine and feminine energies. I was just talking about with the chickadee card, that black and white being polarities and then gray being the integration of that. Grouse spirals and whirls as a divine messenger of movement. Dance the sacred dance as an intention to reclaim and connect to your highest guidance. The dance can take the form of free flow movement, yoga, kirtan, or any other rhythmic practice that allows you to go into a meditative state. It is here in this sacred place of stillness surrounded by movement that we can connect more fully. A new flow of energy brought in by any inspired movement will support the process. The energies include movement, stillness, I love that polarity, and life cycle. The season of this bird is spring. It's represented by earth and air. Its color is black, white, and brown. The affirmation is, I seek and open to the unique sacred spiral within me. I love how that synced up like that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit Pisces, like, you're at a moment right now where it's like right before the show starts, right? We talk about that, the stage and the players and the set and the lights and the whole thing. It's like right before the curtain goes up and like all of God's favor and mercy and blessings start to like rain upon you, right? The show gets to start. And it's like you're standing in place and you're like all nervous. And it's like that that stillness is building up this, this tense energy when it's like really you need to be doing like one of these or like a side to side, like a practice in your move or like a little sway. It's like loosening up. I think that's what this whole thing is about. It's about like show's about to go off, Pisces. The show is going off. However, 
If you stand in place too much, you're gonna start to get nervous and you're gonna start to forget your lines. So it's like you need to like loosen up, do a little stretch or something, a little calisthenics, yes, very good. Like before it happens, that way it's like you're limbered up. So when the show goes off, it's like you're ready to go. Like you're ready to sing, you're ready to dance, you're ready to run that new race that you're in because you already completed rehearsal and now it's time. But like get some of the kinks out a little bit, you know, get some of the kinks out. So. I guess this was your reading, Pisces. This was different. This is different for us today. This is different for me today. Um, but so be it. So it is as God intends it to be. Um, I love you guys very, very much. I hope you got something useful out of this reading. I hope it resonated. Um, I hope you loosen up. Maybe we need to have a little like, I don't know, beehive dance party or something later. I haven't the slightest. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. We'll have a little, we'll have a little chat or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that later. But I love you. I love you very, very much. Take care of yourself. Loosen up. Everything's good. Every little thing is going to be all right. What is that song called? Three little birds. Three little birds. So you're the third little bird, my little chickadee. So I love you very much, Pisces. All the information you need is in the description box. The Patreon, the Instagram, all the decks, my email, all my stuff. All my stuff's in there. But I love you very, very much. I will see you very soon. Go have a little fun. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.